Welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery. Uh, you're in Periwinkle's nursery. There's Periwinkle. And today is February the 3rd, 2021. And you're looking at her little torty, tortoiseshell girl. She's got split line face. And we got one little tortoise shell right here she's the biggest one and she's eating her food good for her they're still nursing on periwinkle and then i got the two blacks right over there sweeties sweeties let's see if i can get them so they were moved down everybody was moved down to the toddler room i believe it was about two and a half days ago and they're getting adjusted to it starting to play more they were a little intimidated at first so that is the little blue boy right here that just got down hey guys you want to show your face let's see if i can get a close-up of him it's pretty bright in here today it's um probably around 11 o'clock in the morning so they just had their first bath and first nail trim last night. So I put the blue ribbon on him so we could tell apart from the little girl that's laying over there right now in her bed. Um, they have their vet appointment today. So they're all bathed up and ready to go. And I just gave them their first PlayStation. And so far they're not playing on it yet. It's actually nap time for them, so. And they hear my dog, my, my little dog is right outside the door. I'll introduce them to my dog a little bit later when they're a little bit older. They've had a lot of changes this week. They're not playing right now, but what they, what they do like and I tried to introduce them to it um, a few days ago just so that they could get used to it. They love, <laughs> so this is what's left of the peacock sparkler. Um, everybody's turned off, um, taken off all the feathers. So uh, they've been up in the nursery um, for six weeks. So they really needed to have, be, have a bigger space, and I had to clean it from the last load or disinfect it and everything. So I did all that this week, early this week, and I'm starting to introduce them to new things. But they were pretty wild up in the in the nursery. It was a lot smaller. This is much more larger and more open, and so it took them some time to get adjusted to it. But they are. You're not going to play? She's usually pretty wild. Say, I'm tired. She usually takes a little bit longer to warm up, and then she gets going, and she's pretty wild. We re rearranged our toddler room. We've got some uh, PlayStations that were soaked in um, a disinfectant over there drying by our dehumidifier. I have the dehumidifier off right now so that it's quiet in here. Still want to um, clean and disinfect another litter box so they'll have two for right now and put one and then do another one and put it outside the fence just in case they start jumping over the fence and then mommy can use that one outside the fence. Beautiful blacks, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blacks, high nose, um, just gorgeous. And of course, tortoise shells are my favorite color. So the most hyper one <laughs> is this, the bigger tortoise shell. I mean, she's hyper, hyper, hyper. So when I came in today, well, when, about three weeks ago, every time I would come in the room, they would all start running, and then I had running towards me, and then I had to start with the dewormer, and so and you know I was giving I have given them two 
twice now two in one nasal vaccines so that they stay really healthy before they get their regular shot vaccines and it it they're they're doing really well it's kind of our new protocol So they're going to be up for um, our priority waitlist picks come Friday. And any kittens that aren't picked will go up on our available kittens page as available with their information. Oh, there. Look at that. Look at that. There she goes. There she goes. She's a hyper little girl. So anyway, I was, I was saying when I came in today, it's the split line face that came running up. She's been doing that. She's very friendly. They just were a little bit intimidated with this huge space after being in that, um, that small nursery for six weeks. So I think during the photo shoot, they get their photo shoot today when they get back from the vet. And I'll have that posted probably late tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, I think they'll be used to what's left of the peacock sparkler, <laughs> which isn't much. <laughs> um, I have saved the feathers. I'm going to disaffect them, and then I'm going to try to remake the peacock sparkler with, the, with some floral tape and some hot glue. I don't even know if you can get the peacock sparkler anymore. Amazon is out of so much stuff. Where we originally got the peacock sparkler was in Raleigh at the Fido stores. But I haven't been there for a while, so I'm not sure if they're still carrying them. But you could check independent pet stores. This is the bigger, <laughs> the bigger one, the bigger tortie. This is the split line. This is the little girl who doesn't want to seem to play too much today, and this is the little boy. And I definitely needed to put ribbons on them. I swear I have those two. So the ribbon was off this morning, so I hopefully I got the right one. We'll go to the vet and he can check too, make sure he's the blue. See if I can get a close up. You don't want me to get a close up of your face? Well, you'll be able to see them during the photo shoot. Close up. Hey, baby, there you go. There's a close up of her. So they're all going to have copper eyes, and they should have pretty nice, and their mom has, um, their grandma has gorgeous copper eyes, and so does their father. Their father is Lilac Paisley. He's a pure Lilac Persian, and he's beautiful. Usually takes him a little while to warm up, too. That's probably where that's coming from. A little more cautious. <laughs> 